What's going on guys? It's Ricky with Tacbit Solutions. Welcome to our free live trading session. I'm going to start sharing my screen so you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. Uh, today is May 26th and during this free live trading session, we will be giving away $1,000. It's going to be closer towards the end of the actual live session. But again, I hope that you guys can sit back, relax, get a taste of what our Learn Plan Profit team gets to experience every morning. And if you have any questions during this live stream please do not hesitate to ask all you have to do is drop a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure that you're subscribed so you can partake in that little live chat so only the people that are subscribed to the channel can actually partake in that live chat so just a little heads up with that good morning good morning how are we all doing market opens in about four minutes if I'm not mistaken what's up what's up welcome back I want to see a show of hands. How many of you guys are joining us for the first time? Here it goes. So NASDAQ market is in the green 0.3%, although it corrected itself uh, shortly after, um, what's it called? We had a series of nine economic reports being released. We had PCE prices being released. Both came in a little bit higher than expected, which that not isn't necessarily a good thing. So we could see PC prices came in at 0.4% with an expectation of 0.3% and then 0.4% with an expectation of 0.3%. We had personal income came in as expected. We have personal spending came in a little bit higher than expected. Uh, so again, that doesn't uh, necessarily support the case that there's an economic slowdown. More people are spending than what was originally expected. Uh, and then we have durable orders. Uh, the last one that we have, and we'll probably capture it during this live session, is the uh, University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Report. And that's going to be about 30 minutes after the market opens. What's up? What's up? How are we all doing? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Again, market opens in less than three minutes. So if you guys can do me a favor, we have a handful of you guys just joining us right now. Make sure that you guys drop a thumbs up and make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel. Remember, we are giving away $1,000 during this live session, just like we have for the previous three Fridays. On May 5th, I gave away $1,000 to one of our viewers, Kevin. And then Teen won $1,000, Raphael won $1,000 just last week. So today we're going to give away another $1,000. Um, and again, that is uh, for our LPP members. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit, but uh, market opens in two minutes. So I want to see which way the market actually ends up going. So debt ceiling time rookie. I hope so. I hope that they could come up with a conclusion, right? And, and come up with a solution for the people, right? People like you and I. It's always, it's always us that end up having to take the hit. And I can tell, I mean, um, you could always tell in the, in the comments, right? There's like the Republicans and then there's the Democrats. Uh, but I think that we all have one thing in common. I don't care about what your political view is or your political stance. I, I'm not here to convince you. I think that's the whole point of being a part of a democracy is that, you know, you choose whatever political stance is more suitable for you um, or based off of your beliefs. And that's fine. I respect that. Um, and one thing that we all agree with is that it's always the people like you and I, right, that end up having to pay the price for the politicians. And these politicians are both Democrat and Republican, right? Um, and I think that's all we ever actually want is for them to make a decision where we don't actually end up getting the short end of the stick. But let's be honest. Uh, how likely is that to happen, right? All right. Here it goes, testing, testing. So in about 20 seconds, market should open. Let's say, let's see which way the market actually ends up going. All right. Here it goes, and we are live. Whoa, looks like I had a broken candle there. A lot of buying pressure. Wow, picking right back up. NASDAQ trying to make a comeback. Here it goes, 0.35% in the green. TQQQ up 1%. Let's see if it holds above that moving average. Here it goes, about to break above that super trend. What do we have for NVIDIA? NVIDIA starting off the day a little bit in the red, beginning to pull on back. 
Let's see what we can get to happen here. All right, still testing that moving average as a potential support. Good morning, good morning. Appreciate you guys joining us for this free live session. So, all right. Okay, still testing our resistance here, right around uh, 32.90. So right around 33 dollars, we have a slight resistance, right? During based off of that pre-market um, session, we could see 32.99 is what we hit highs of. Let's look at QQQ. Remember, QQQ is a single leverage um, ETF that follows the Nasdaq market. It looks like we're still getting rejected. Watch for the break below the moving average. Watch for the break below. That's what I'm looking out for. If we break below, we can retrace right back down to what we hit lows of. Remember when these economic reports came out, we quickly corrected ourselves and then we quickly came right on back. So uh, it looks like we were at that break even price point based off of where we closed at and what we hit lows of. So it's good to just pay attention to it because we could see where there's a potential support zone, right? Uh, that if the market does begin to pull back a little bit, we know kind of where there could be some, you know, demand. Uh, and there it goes, picking right back up the bulls coming back out of nowhere. Great volume this week, a lot of volatility. I, I, I don't think anyone has um, anything you know to say about that. This week has been very volatile, uh, thanks to yours truly, NVIDIA, right? All sponsored by NVIDIA. So NVIDIA with its super big gap up. Uh, can I get a show of hands? Uh, let me get a show of hands of the people in the live chat. How many of you think NVIDIA will continue to go live? I mean, uh, will continue to, uh, rise and how many of you guys think that nvidia will end up actually pulling on back so what's wrong with the live the live looks good on my side i don't know if you guys are having any issues but i see quentin pierce is asking what is going on with the live everything looks good on my side quentin i don't know if you want to refresh your screen so pull back pull back pull back pull back it's good so there we go all right all right pull back pull back there we go Yep, so we have a handful of people obviously saying about uh, talking about a pullback. A pullback doesn't have to happen right away, right? Obviously, we could continue to uh, hold at this level. Um, I just have personally never seen a stock that gaps up over 20% and that holds at that level after the hype is gone, right? So it's going to be very interesting to see how the market actually ends up reacting when nvidia pulls on back but one thing that you do have to remember it's kind of like a perfect recipe i was talking to the lpp team uh, yesterday about this and it's almost like a perfect recipe for a second rally and that's if they do come up with a final decision for the u.s debt ceiling right so if they do come up with a decision and if it's favorable you know, market has been going up as they were coming up with a decision. So now when they do come up with the decision, it's going to be interesting to see if the market actually ends up uh, continuing to make new highs uh, or if we actually end up pulling on back, right? But it could be a perfect recipe for a potential, you know, uh, breakout. And here it goes, making new highs on the day. So that means TQQQ just hit highs of $33 a share. Check that out. Uh, TQQQ is now at 52-week highs. If I'm not mistaken, right? 52 week highs. There it goes. 3301 from lows of six, uh, 1594. So again, double the price of what it was. And this was early 2023. To the point that we are now 105% on TQQQ. And a quick pullback at that. Look at that. All the way back down. Is that a bull trap? Are we still seeing signs of a resistance here? Let's go ahead and wait to see right? I want to see if we see higher highs. I'm going to enter long on TQQQ. If we continue to show signs of a resistance around this $33 price point, I have to understand and respect that resistance. And therefore, I'm going to stay a little bit more patient until direction is more clear. Uh, I don't know if you guys often make this mistake. I know I've, I make this mistake all the time, but sometimes you know, I rush into a trade, right? Um, I get in too early when direction is not super clear. I think that just because something was happening pre-market that it has to continue to happen during normal trading hours. And remember, uh, I mean, LPP team sees this happen all the time where, you know, that's definitely not the case. There's many times that we can be bullish pre-market, but then we're bearish right at market open or vice versa, right? Um, so... 
So you said long in TQQ, you bullish at this high level of a buy-in. I, I completely agree with you that the market is very overbought, but if the market is still bullish, even though that the market is overbought, and if there's progress on its upside, what am I? What else am I going to do, right? Am I going to try to fight the direction? I mean, I tried doing that yesterday, and it didn't play out too well, right? Uh, I am often early to a reversal, uh, but as of right now, especially during this free live, um, I, I want to try to lead by example by keeping it simple, right? So just going with the flow, following the trend, um, and not over it. But I completely agree that if, if you think that the market is very overbought and it's just too risky for you, I respect that. There's no reason that you need to jump into something that doesn't meet your criteria uh, or that you don't agree with, right? That doesn't align um, with what it is that you need a stock to uh, you know, meet. Um, so 100%, right? Just because I see value in something doesn't mean that you need to, and that's something that you should be well aware of, right? Watch for the break above 33. There it goes, 33.05 gapping up. We have TQQQ up 1.6%. Will we hold up here again? That's all I'm looking for. Will we hold at this level? Yep, 33.07. All right. Here it goes, 3307. All right, still indicating signs of an uptrend, 3309. It's 3310. Come on, come on. Yep, 3310. Smash that like button. I like it. I like it. Thank you for reminding the viewers. It's looking healthy. I want to see how it reacts when it pulls on back. Are we pulling on back and are we forming higher lows? There it goes. 3313. Can we make new highs? 3313. Watch for, this is the first sign of a potential pullback. Let's see, nope, still in the green, still in the green. Closing above, 33.12, can we break above? There it goes. High PCE is bullish. I don't agree with that, no. Yeah, it's not definitely, uh, that's not the case, right? Market originally reacted in a negative way once that report came out, right? Um, right around, um, 8.30, which is one hour before the market opened, we gapped down, right? And we bottomed out at 8.40, but then we began indicating signs of an uptrend. And there it goes, 33.14. Remember, um, I mean, I'm right there with you. Uh, the market sometimes does not make sense and it continues and continues to indicate signs of an uptrend when there's there's obvious signs of like, like, like the reports being released don't necessarily support the case. But there's these short-lived rallies, which is kind of, again, as a trader, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not buying and holding these positions for a very long period of time. I'm just trying to make a small range, right, um, based off of the progress that it's making. Uh, so that's the thing that I often remind myself is, um, you know, I can be very opinionated. And again, it's still a battle that I have from time to time. Um, but you can have this battle with yourself of like, no, it needs to be doing this. It needs like this doesn't make sense. And I agree with you. I completely agree with you. You think I think the market should be going up right now? Heck no. Like, um, no, in no way. Right. But it's, it's not so much. It's not at all. My opinions are irrelevant to the market. Right. It's, it, they're insignificant. Your opinions, my opinions. It doesn't matter what we think. It matters what is going on. Right. We can have our opinions. And if you don't want to partake in it, respect that, right? But can't get mad in the sense, right? Keep it simple. All, all I focus on is on the trend. Um, if we're still indicating signs of an uptrend, I, and I just choose to go with the flow. And there it goes, 33.18, 33.20. Solid progress, honestly. West Coast, how are you, brother? 
Doing good, man. Happy Friday, May 26th, hosting this free live, going to be giving away $1,000. I hope to at least make $1,000 so I can give it away during this live stream, right? I think that should be one of the goals for today. Uh, we have TQQQ up 2%, even when we thought that it was overbought already. It's still gapping up, so um, just waiting to see if we see any indication of a pullback. I would like to enter, but um, it's just a little bit too overbought for my taste. So, all right. So Tesla gapped down quickly. So Tesla's at a potential resistance, but not much going on there. Here it goes, 3323, 3325. All right, just gonna ease into it. I'm gonna go in with my first thousand shares. Again, this is super overbought. Please do not copy my trade. There it goes, first thousand shares on TQQQ. See how we do here. Let's see if it keeps indicating signs of an uptrend. 33.26. There it goes. 33.27. Can we break 33.30? So again, I'm still uncertain if we're going to continue. And there it goes. Of course correcting itself right now and that's fine this is why i'm staying relatively pretty light on my position so 1000 shares is about 1 20th of what i could trade with um so just in perspective of your position size right uh, in comparison to mine i always uh talk about position size with our lpp team and how we break it down anytime a position might be a little bit risky a way again my job as a trader is not to avoid risk my job is to manage it right so we love we love that reminder, right? We have twenty five hundred of you, but we only have five hundred likes. Only five hundred. I guess only five hundred and three people want to partake in the one thousand dollar giveaway. I do want to remind you again for all those that are tuning on in. Remember, uh, you do have to be a part of LPP to partake in the one thousand dollar giveaway. Um, right now, we are running our biggest sale. It's the second link in the description down below, and you also get ten thousand entries for the GTR giveaway. So it's a one-time payment, lifetime access. You will get to watch me trade live every day. You get access to the A2Z video lesson library, our private group chat, and access to the TechBuds HQ. So it's all inclusive, one-time payment, and you also get 10,000 entries for the GTR giveaway. For those that are unaware, the GTR giveaway ends in less than 10 days, nine days, 17 hours, and 15 minutes. So you will get 10,000 of those entries, which in comparison, is about a $2,000 value. So just a heads up, uh, we're not gonna be doing the $1,000 giveaway right now. Uh, we're gonna be doing it in a couple of minutes. Um, so if you wanted some time to sign up, now would be the time because you do have to be a part of LPP um, to partake in that $1,000 giveaway. So let me know once you guys are done and ready to go, and then we'll host that $1,000 giveaway, all right? All right, looks like there's 946 people that want to partake in the $1,000 giveaway. I like it. Give us some dad jokes. I like that. It's Friday. It's a little bit too early right now, but trust me, they'll come out. All right, here it goes. About to break above 33.30. Let's break above that. I just added an additional 1,000 shares. Remember, just because I'm adding to my position does not mean that you need to. That's one question that a lot of people ask is, Ricky, when I sign up for LPP, does that mean that I can copy your trades? You should never copy anyone when it comes down to trading, right? You should never copy anyone really doing anything. Ask yourself like in high school, right? Did you actually learn anything from copying from one another? Definitely not, right? So why, if you're trying to learn how to do something, why are you just going to try to copy? The idea is, is just like when you watch someone play video games or you watch someone play chess, right? The more you watch someone and observe someone and doing something based off of their successes and their failures as you're watching them doing it, you're gonna learn, right? And you're gonna learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make those same mistakes. And that's the beauty about these live sessions is you will get to watch me trade live every single day. You'll see my good days, you'll see my bad days. Uh, and yeah, it's just, it's very important for you to understand that also when I enter and when I exit, 
a lot of you guys are probably under the PDT rule. For me, the PDT rule is not something that I take into consideration because I'm not under it, right? So remember, we're all at different levels and we all see value in different ways. And that's the main reason that you never want to put yourself in a position that you truly maybe don't know if you can tolerate. So do you think that since we've been in a uh, in a rally so much that the pullback will be super aggressive? Well, Javier, first off, I mean, I don't know, right? Uh, I can't predict the future. Uh, but everyone keeps talking about these pullbacks. And trust me, you guys know that I want the market to pull back more than anyone else. But we're waiting for the decision of the U.S. debt ceiling. And because of that, it, it's not guaranteed that the market has to pull on back. The market could gap up even further if they do come up with a conclusion, right? So that's one thing that you want to remind yourself um, that you do not, that we do not right now have to actually pull on back right away. Uh, and that's why it's not that we have to pull up back right away, but again, it is true that the more overbought we become, that eventually we will end up correcting ourselves. It's a correction or a pullback isn't the end of the world. It's just a correction. That's exactly what it means. It's correcting itself because it became overvalued within a very short period of time. And this happens in bull markets and this happens in bear markets, right? Um, and this is something that we've experienced even in the most bullish markets back in 2020 to 2021, right? When the market was rallying, it had corrections along the way. And if you view those corrections as opportunities, right? It's just an opportunity to buy at lower levels to you know dollar cost average into it. And then if the market continues to rally, then great. So be it, right? All right. So when is the decision? The decision was supposed to be two weeks ago. Uh, they have up until June first, according to the articles that I've read. Is that correct, guys? You guys can let me know in the live chat. All I've read is June first. That's the deadline. Supposedly they can extend the deadline. I don't know how you could extend the deadline of based off of how much money you you have, right? Like, right, because that's what we're waiting for. They're, they're waiting to pretty much like increase their debt limit. Um, so I, I'm gonna add another 1,000 shares. There it goes, new highs for TQQQ, another 1,000 shares for TQQQ, still trying to show signs of an uptrend, hitting 2.46% on the day. I read that they expect a positive outcome on the debt ceiling. Oh, that's what I've read too, right? Um, the, mo the more I read and the more I become aware of different things, both good and bad, I'll make sure that I do my job in keeping you guys up to date, right? I, that's all we could ever try to do. Just trying to stay up to date. Ricky, so confident to add at those highs. Nelson, I'm just not overcomplicated. It's not that I'm super confident. I mean, if I was super confident, I would be buying at five or 10,000 share increments. I'm buying in 1,000 share increments, right? It's like if you trade with $1,000 and you're buying with $20 increments. It's very minute in the grand scheme of things. Uh, that's the way that I view this when I'm adding to it. Uh, so, but but again, I, I don't need you to agree with me. That's the beautiful thing about the stock market is we could all see value in different ways. And I respect that. I don't, I'm not here to convince you. You shouldn't be here to convince me. I'm just going with the flow and I'll buy another 1,000 shares. So there it goes, 33.40. Appreciate you always keeping us informed. Try to, right? Definitely try to. There it goes, 1,057 likes. I appreciate that, guys. It looks like the other 1,000 people in this live stream don't want to partake in the $1,000 giveaway. So again, if you guys are just tuning on in, drop a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And for all those that are not yet part of LPP, you do have to be a part of LPP to partake in the $1,000 giveaway. And LPP, the biggest discount is the second link in the description down below. And remember, it is 10,000 entries for the GTR giveaway. I don't think you guys understand how many entries that is and what you would need to buy in, other, you know, in apparel uh, to get 10,000 entries. So... 
All right, here we go. So I am LPP. <laughs> there we go. Uh, can you explain the graph below the RSI? So this is the MACD indicator. I have a video about it on YouTube. I have a more concise video about it uh, in the course, right? So if you're part of LPP, we literally break it down for you. It's just the MACD. It's supposed to be able to determine um, overbought, oversold levels, but based off of reversals when reversals are coming. There's not one indicator that's 100% accurate, uh, but it's a little bit more accurate on the five-minute time frame when we kind of slow things down. So one minute, I don't really feel any indicator is accurate on the one minute, right? <laughs> Here it goes. Let's do another 1,000 shares, just adding to it. Again, just chipping away. Continues to gap up, show signs of progress, no change of direction. I'll just continue to add little by little. Nothing crazy, just keeping it simple. Let's see where we're at so far for the day. So we're at Five hundred and eleven dollars. We're at about forty cents right now. So, all right. Let's keep adding to it if we keep making higher highs and higher lows. So, thirty-three fifty could be a potential resistance zone. Uh, so I'm going to wait for that breakout. And if we do break above 33.50, um, I'm surprised. There it goes, 3% on the day. We just hit 33.50. Watch for the potential resistance here. I would love to see a break above, um, obviously, right, as I'm in TQQ, very biased right now. Uh, but we could easily get rejected here. So let's be very careful. I'm going to look at QQQ real quick and just look back at any previous pattern to see if I could find anything the last time it was trading at... 342343 three. it's pretty far back wow yeah not too sure how significant or useful that's going to be we hit 34316 there it goes we have tqqq testing we might be showing slight signs of a resistance here so when in doubt pull out here it goes just going to double check my shares 5,000 shares, all right, I'm going to sell 499 of them, so 499, again, just because I'm selling does not mean that you need to, I'm just choosing to play it safe, um, and that's really just it, right, there's nothing else to it, I'm going to see if we're seeing a potential change of direction, do you see how it's kind of struggling here? All right, so I see my bid here at 33.45, 33.46 on the ask. 30, all right, nope, and look at that, right back to it. I'm just gonna get out at 46, 33.46. Remember, just because I'm selling does not mean that you need to. There it goes, $613 profit. Watch it break out, and this will just be something that I will have to re-enter or revisit. Uh, but I'm just choosing to play it safe. So um, remember, I'm not a perfect trader. I make mistakes all of the time, but one of the mistakes that I get mad at the least is locking in profits. There are many times that I sell very early. I mean, I did, I did it a bunch this week, um, but it happens, right? It comes with the territory. Uh, anytime that I see something becoming a little bit too overbought or there's no signs of progress. That's normally my biggest thing. And there it goes, 33.52, just broke above 33.50, still indicating signs of an uptrend. All right. Yeah, so the super trend indicator seems accurate to some degree, right? There's no indicator that's 100% accurate, right? So we would have been, there's an exit here and an, enter, an entrance there, but that's pre-market right now. There's you know a buy signal here when it broke above the five minute EMA. Um, so that's good to see, but um, it's a little bit too early to tell right now. So there it goes, 33.55, another five cents per share. 
Today, I also closed my position very early. It's okay. Remember, we're complaining about locking in profits too early. That's a better issue to have than not locking in profits at all and then being red, right? Let's be honest, right? If we're going to choose to have problems, I would rather have that problem than, than being red. Uh, 10 days left for the GTR. It's a little bit less than 10 days, but uh, uh, Magda, that is correct. All right. So how was the inflation report? They, um, well, it, was, it wasn't good, right? So we have the consumer sentiment report coming out in four minutes. So I'm going to wait for that to come out. Then we're going to do the $1,000 giveaway. So again, if you guys, again, I want to partake in that. We have 2,700 of you guys here. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Uh, but we had a total of nine economic reports being released before the market opened. Uh, market originally reacted in a negative way, yet the market right now is extremely bullish, right? We're just going with the flow. I chose to play it safe. We locked it in. We'll see which way the market actually ends up going um, towards the later hours or if market direction ends up changing um it's just we're becoming super super overbought and i see you know i, I really like your guys's questions when you were asking ricky like why are you buying tqqq it's super overbought trust me i completely agree with you i completely agree with you but market direction right now as a trader is bullish right it doesn't matter if we're overbought big picture we're bullish today and today is the day day trader right that's my focus uh, have you fully sold tqqq that is correct and let me remind you just because i fully sold does not mean that you need to if you want to sell then you're welcome to i explained why i sold there were signs of a resistance. The, you know, anytime that there's no signs of continuous progress, if there's no more signs of continuous progress and no progress at all, any open position is a position that's open to risk, which is why I decided to sell. That's my reason why. And that's what I explained during these live sessions. I don't need you to agree with me. I don't need you to do the same as me. I'd prefer for you not to copy what it is that I'm doing. But my job during these lives, right, the whole pur purpose that people join LPP is to hear my thought process, regardless if it leads to a successful trade or a bad trade, the value behind this is being, a, being able to understand, you know, what led to that good trade, what led to that bad trade. So if you see that I did something that led to a bad trade, I hope that you can, you know, note it down so you don't make that same mistake, right? How cool would that be where you don't have to make the mistake and take on that expense yourself right time to get out yep so it's still showing signs of resistance 3350 you know to me it did show a little bit signs of progress but not much too much consolidation based off of how it has been trading and we'll see right we'll see if it's overbought enough now that it could potentially begin to pull on back so maybe i'll take just want to let's do a short here Oh, I need a, it's already too late. I need to sell it all. Yeah, I'm going to be too late to this short. There it goes. Now I'm going to be able to short, but now I'm going to be too late to the freaking rally. Yeah, too late. Um, no, I'm still pulling off back. Let's do it. 2,500 shares, shorting. There it goes. Let's see which way we go. All right. In one minute, we have the consumer sentiment report that's about to come out. So please be wary of that. Please be very careful. Here it goes in less than five seconds reports coming out and markets should be reacting there it goes 7 a.m see which way we go it's not a super significant report but again anything with this market um, can cause a big shift and there it goes new highs quick push quick push 
Let's see if we continue to show signs of progress. Pay gap up. Be careful here. I'm going to have to buy to cover. Look how quick. All in one minute. All in one minute. I'm going to be careful here. 3365. 3367, 68, not stopping. Here it goes, slight sign of resistance. We have QQQ, yep, 33, 34379. What's going on here? <laughs> RSI is screaming, yep, RSI is bouncing off of the 85. All right, let's see if it continues to gap up. Uh, why did you think that 3350 was a possible resistance? Because it was showing signs of resistance, right? It was showing signs of consolidation. So what would you call that, right? If there's no progress beyond a specific point and it continues to consolidate, it, it is just consolidation. But to me, if I have an open position and that position is not making me any more money, right? And there's consolidation there, to me, why do I have that position open, right? Any open position is a position that's open to risk. So to me, it's showing signs of resistance and therefore that's why I'm deciding to sell, right? Here it goes, still going back to retest. Market is just too, too bullish. And this is where I am reminded to not fight the bulls, right? Let's see if we can get out of this. This is just too overbought. I agree with you. I completely agree, but Again, as of right now, still bullish, right? Still testing this now. Now what used to act as a resistance, 3350 area, is now acting as a potential support. We are not breaking below that. Check that out. Let's see what we get out of this. This market is nuts. Yep, I got a little bit too confident with that. Uh, what, what I saw, potential change of direction, right? Right on over here. And then in one minute, right? It was just bad timing. Consumer sentiment report. I should have been aware of that. I should have respected that. Um, I mean, even here, right? It's still not necessarily showing signs of an active sell-off. We're still above EMA. We're still above moving average. It was a risky trade. I decided to take it, right? My job is not to avoid risk. My job is just to manage it. I could have done a better job managing it, no question about it. Not even positive news and the market flies. 
Uh, that is correct. That's just the market that we are in right now. 59.2 with the expectation of 57.8. So better than expected for the uh, Michigan Consumer Sentiment Report. Uh, here it goes. Here it goes. Testing, testing. Thank you for making this stream free. Great knowledge. I appreciate you tuning on in and thank you again for joining us this Friday, right? Could holiday weekend be affecting this? Um, I, I wouldn't think so. Um, I mean, it, it wouldn't, I wouldn't see how a three day weekend would be hurting would be causing the market to go up, right? Uh, if anything, it would be causing the market to go down because there would be more selling pressure because of the three-day weekend, right? Sell your positions, lock in profits, you enjoy your weekend. But it's the opposite. There's a lot of buying activity. Um, it's just, that's market direction as of right now. I mean, we can try to think of a reason why or we can try to um, justify why it's happening. We don't need to justify it, right? Market's bullish. Market's bullish as of right now. There's no break of pattern. Um, and I just, I I would prefer not to overcomplicate it beyond that. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see if market direction ends up changing, then we'll get that confirmation, right? Um, if market direction remains bullish, then we should be able to see that, right? This is a great experience. Thank you. I'm super happy to hear that, right? Um, Really happy to hear. So yeah, in just a few minutes, we will be hosting the $1,000 giveaway, which means that as long as you're part of LPP, if you're not part of LPP yet, it's the second link in the description down below. I'm gonna give you guys about three minutes, uh, but you do have to be a part of LPP. And then in the live chat, you just have to be subscribed to the channel to partake in that live chat. You just are gonna type in your first and last name, your first and last name. Don't type in anything else. If you type in anything else other than your first and last name, it's not going to count. It happened last week. Someone else typed in their username or said something and their name doesn't match, you know, an LPP student. So therefore, you know, we couldn't pick them. And then Raphael ended up winning. So when I screenshot it, it's going to be the first person at the top. And as long as they're part of LPP, then they win. If they're not part of LPP, then it's going to be the person below. So it looks like people are already partaking in the live chat. I, I was going to say three minutes. So we have two minutes left. So again, if you're not part of LPP yet, second link in the description down below to one-time payment, lifetime access. It's literally our biggest sale. It's $175 off. And on top of that, 10,000 entries for the GTR giveaway. So 10K entries, GTR giveaway. You got to watch me trade live every day. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access, and there's sessions like this, right? Anytime that you want to tune on in, you can watch it live. If you want to watch it at a later time, then again, they're saved for you in our uh, morning live chat. All right. A lot of consolidation, which is not the best sign for the bears either, right? A lot of consolidating, uh, a lot of consolidation within a specific range could just be establishing a new support right? We could be establishing our support here and it's just going to gap right back up. And there it goes. Look at that. What did we say? 3368, 3369, 3370. All right. 3370. Are we going to see continuous signs of progress? I want to give it a little bit of wiggle room. All right. Three point six three percent on TQQQ. What a son of a gun! This is insane. How how many days has it been since it's been rallying? Insane. Big okay, gap up. There it goes, 3374. All right, one minute left, and then we're going to be doing our 
uh, $1,000 giveaway. So make sure you drop a thumbs up. We have 2,700 of you. You do have to drop a thumbs up. You do have to be subscribed to the channel and you do have to be a part of LPP. So again, make sure you get that all done. And then we should be giving away 1K. All right, so I'm gonna bring, you guys can see all the names in the live chat. I'm gonna bring it to my main screen so you guys can see um, see it all go down. So I'm not just screenshotting something and then you guys are like, it's rigged. So I'm gonna bring it on over. Here we go. All right, so. I'm going to create a little square just like this. Make sure that it's above a name. I'm going to do it right in the middle, right? So it's random. Just so I capture one name. Beautiful, right? I'm going to capture a few names just to make sure that we have it all covered. So I'm going to do it. Let's do it in 30 seconds. So 30 seconds. Type in your first name, type in your last name, nothing else. No username, I don't need anything else. First name, last name. One, we're doing the $1,000 giveaway. You need to be a part of LPP. It's the second link in the description down below. This is our fourth $1,000 giveaway. And it's gonna go down in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, boom. All right, and the giveaway winner is, again, as long as they are part of LPP, the giveaway winner is uh, Robertino Bautista, and then we have Jarmo, and then we have Serena. So we have, I'm gonna go off of these three. Once we confirm that Ro uh, Ro Ro Robertino Bautista is part of LPP, then again, he's gonna be our $1,000 giveaway winner. Um, remember, we are hosting our last and final $1,000 giveaway next week. So please don't be salty. Congratulate Robertino, right? You guys saw how we did it. Nothing crazy. We like doing this for you guys. You guys uh, get very excited for it. Uh, and obviously, you guys being a part of LPP, hopefully you can use those $1,000. You can fund your trading account uh, and make an extra couple of bucks, right? Um, we'd like to see you guys happy. Um, and if you have any other ideas on how we can continue to do this for you guys, feel free to share it. Um, but yeah, I have, I have a lot of fun with you guys, not only during these live sessions, um, but I like to see your guys' excitement and stuff like that. So, um, I hope that you guys do enjoy it. I hope that you guys don't get mad at Robertino, right? He can't control that he won. It's just the luck of the draw. And uh, we try to make the most of it. So when does the 175 offer end? So you can message me at any time if you want the 175 off. Um, and as long as we still have it active, we'll go ahead and I'll redeem it for you. Uh, but it's the second link in the description down below. It's going to be going on for Memorial Day uh, weekend, which starts today. Um, I don't know if you guys saw this. And again, I know a handful of you guys probably um, have already entered, but... I was thinking, and you guys let me know in the live chat, when my team was asking me, they're like, hey, what should we do for Memorial Day sale? Should we do a 20% off? Should we give away extra bonus points? Right, they were asking me. And I was like, what if we give away another car? And they're like, what? And I was like, it doesn't have to be an expensive car, but obviously being in JDM, right, there's either a Nissan 350Z or an Infiniti G35. So for four days, starting today, as long as you buy something either today or tomorrow or Sunday or Monday. So anybody that buys anything in the next four days and just those four days from May 26th to May 29, you will automatically be entered for both giveaways, but only those that shop from May 26th to May 29th get entered for the Infinity G35 giveaway. I know a handful of you guys probably uh, won't even care for the G35, maybe you guys won't. Some people love this car. And, and I, I know it's a very specific thing, right? You guys don't have to take the car if you end up being super far away and you're like, oh, I won the car, but I don't wanna go pick it up. Um, 
we can just come up with a cash prize for it and I'll just send you a, a Zelle or I'll send you a, a Venmo, right? Uh, but I wanted to change things up um, and everyone's running different Memorial Day sales. I thought it would be pretty cool and you guys can let me know in the live chat if it is cool. I thought giving away another car just would be better. Uh, but again, this is for only TechBuds Apparel. As long as you shop and you select your favorite items, which is again, the fourth link in the description down below. If you buy something from May 26th, which is today, um, to May 29th, which is Monday, as long as you buy anything within those four days, you automatically get entered, right? So if there's five people that buy something, then only those five people within those days get entered for the draw of the Infinity G35. I'm gonna go live, I'm gonna show you all the names that entered, and then we're gonna select the winner for the G35 on a Tuesday, right? So the day after, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's really just it. So I appreciate you guys tuning on in um, to the live session. Uh, I'm gonna close this thing out. So let me close this bad boy out. Uh, should we? Still showing signs of progress. So I'm gonna buy to cover. So would you ship the car to Canada? No. If, if you win the car, you have to come pick it up. Again, it's I'm, if you don't want the car and you just want cash instead, I'll send you cash, but no way. I'm not gonna spend another two to $3,000 to ship you the car, right? Um, if you want the car, you can fly in, you can drive it back. I don't care what you do with it. Uh, but I mean, I, we were either gonna give away like an iPhone but I was like, I think it would be pretty cool to give away a car because I know a lot of the people that are probably entering our GTR giveaway are probably into like JDM um, or kind of cars like that. So I thought it would spice things up. I thought it would be more exciting. Um, but no, I'm not shipping it to you uh, if you win the G35. So, hey, I'll deliver the car for $1,000. Yeah, I mean, you can speak to the winner, right? Uh, but I'm not going to ship it to you. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. But um, that is it for today. So we got QQQ on over here. Still very bullish. Still trying to show signs of progress. Uh, I'll keep you guys up to date in the trade ideas uh, for LPP if this thing continues to show signs of progress. I want to give it a little bit more wiggle room. I mean, we're up 1.3%. I want to see how much more room we have to jump up. If this is the peak, then great. So be it. Um, I just don't want to close out that short and then this end up being the top and then you know I just entered or exited way too early right so um, let's see <laughs> I like that Flacco uh, will you arrange the shipping if the winner pays for it of course yeah uh, the GTR is a different store right if you win the GTR yeah we'll take care of that but the G35 again we just did that on a whim uh, we're just doing it for fun. And if you want it, great. If you don't, then we'll just send you cash. So uh, really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little live session. Uh, again, second link in the description down below is if you guys want to be able to watch this happen every single day at Market Open, I trade live with one team and one team only, and that's the LPP team. Um, looks like NASDAQ market is up 1.38%. It does not stop. Remember, we're still waiting for the decision of the US debt ceiling. Um, and market is overbought but can the market make new highs no question about it it's it's an unreal time to be alive right now market literally feels unstoppable um, so watch that position size make sure you manage that risk um, keep it light keep it tight don't put yourself in a position in which you cannot tolerate and if you have any questions whatsoever even before you join lpp if you want to ask questions about what it's like or if you have any specific questions please do not hesitate to send me a direct message. The third link in the description of this video, if you don't see it, feel free to refresh it. You can send me a direct message via Instagram or send me a direct message via Discord, which is linked down below. Ask me any question. We want to make sure that even before you sign up, if you have a question about it, let me know and we'll answer it for you so you feel comfortable uh, and then we'll welcome you to the team. Appreciate your time. Like always, Wish you all a Memorial Day weekend. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team. Thank you for your time. Really